Hello, and today we are going to learn how to pull in a song from Song Select. Now, this is assuming that in Song Select you've already entered your account information and so on. So you can see we don't have any songs here, nothing in the playlist. It's a clean database. So you go up to the, the um, icon, Song Select icon, um, and you will see that you are logged in because it says log out in order to log out. So you're in song select. You type our guard. Or whatever the song is that you're looking for. We're looking for our guard, Chris Tomlin. And here's the song. So you can see it's very easy. Um, shows you a nice sort of little uh, balloon here with everything in that you need. Um, you know if it's the correct song so many versions sometimes and uh, you, you go import so now it's going to take you to the next screen by default this is going to be line break and that means that every line is going to be of every verse and chorus and uh, whatever is going to be on a different slide generally paragraph break works better but that's totally up to your taste and choice of how you do it in your church you then have this is the resolution of your uh, screen this is your category so you've got songs presentation bible speaker whatever so normally song and here is where you pull in your template so you have whatever template you prefer to use or want the song to be associated with you can always change it afterwards it's no big deal so and then in the destination we have library and select a playlist and new playlist so library means that it's only going into the library it's not going to be put into any playlist these other two will put it in the library as well as either the selected playlist or the new playlist I'm going to just choose select a playlist and then go import we can now close out of this and you can see the song has been added in the in the library and then also in this in the song playlist up here we have the the song and we're ready to uh, edit it and look at it it has already put it into verse one verse two chorus one and it called it miscellaneous here but we see up at the top it says bridge so we want to change that so that it, it becomes the same thing so we go to a group label and go to bridge if you don't have bridge you go down to other and you type that in so you go to bridge now it's associated with bridge and we just want to get rid of that top part so we just want to do a quick edit in here just because we just the only thing we're doing is deleting that top line hit delete and we're good to go on that all right so now we have one instance of each and we what I normally will do will be to add two slides one will be eh, and it automatically assumes whatever the last one was which in this one happens to be bridge the first one I will drag up to the top till we get that cyan line put it in there and it'll automatically be called group this last one I want to call blank just because sometimes we just want to go to the background between songs have that built in you don't always have to put it in and we and if you watch the arrangements one you can see in the arrangements you don't have to do it so we're going to call this one blank by right clicking on it go to the new group and I have one down here called blank I always tend to like to make that black because then it looks like a blank um, and then so this song is now completely uh, edited ready for making arrangements uh, putting in songs and so on the only thing that we need to do is you can see the icon is orange we need to save this so you can go it can be command s or you can go to file save all and there we have it thank you for watching <laughs>